Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson, owner of Kids Aloud, and this is our October newsletter. A number of our parents have said on a busy morning how difficult it can be to fill out some of the forms that we need to do, medication forms, swap session forms and the likes. So we've popped them all up on the Kids Aloud website now under the parents section and you can download them at home, fill them in and it's just one less thing to do with your busy mornings. Um, babysitting is another thing we've had a little bit of feedback on. Um, many more families seem to be having three children these days and the old policy meant the third child was more expensive to look after for babysitting. We've changed that now. Um, a third child makes no difference to the price and we hope you're pleased that we've responded to that and also um, our nappies that go to landfill have been raised by a parent saying that you know we are sending many many thousands of nappies over the course of a year to landfill we've trialed a product called natty and it's been a real success it's as good as pampers and huggies as far as the team are concerned so we're going to roll that brand out across all of the kids allowed centers and that's one less thing that we send into landfill or at least when we send it to landfill it is biodegradable Just want to acknowledge and thank all the children that have left to start reception class at school during September. Um, almost 200 um, children went off into the school system and we've had so much lovely feedback from the parents saying how well prepared they were, so uh, thank you for all your support. Um, and those 200 children leaving the centre has created availability in all our centres. It's always a fabulous time of the year to join Kids Aloud. So if you're thinking of joining, um, we may have spaces available just at the moment. Um, some good news about um, health and fitness and doing more with the children around that. Um, we have a new person, Rosie. She's not new to Kids Aloud, but she's in a new role at Kids Aloud where she's going to be going around all of the centres offering gym and other health and fitness classes to the children on a much more regular basis than we ever used to. So look out for a Rosie, she's a real character. Um, we also have a chef coming in uh, to work with us over the next couple of weeks. The guy's called Nigel Denby and he uh, runs a company called Grub for Life and he is a specialist in 0 to 5 nutrition. And although we do have fabulous menus, of course we do, we're always looking to improve on what we do. So we look forward to working with him and making sure that we're nutritionally giving your children absolutely the best start we can. Um, we've done some maintenance on Macclesfield. We've got some lovely before and after um, shots to show you on their toddler garden. So we hope you've noticed the further investment that we've been doing there. And then finally, just a small point, but it's important. We've got um, a new supplier for a fabulous new sanitizer. Um, we've always used sanitizing products, but this one's a bit special because it allows us to also sanitize the soft surfaces and the cushions and the likes um, so we're excited to have adopted that and um, we hope that our infection control continues to go from strength to strength all the mums and dads that came along to our toddler to preschool transition events um, it was lovely to meet you all some of you are new faces to me and it was lovely to say hello there's always lots and lots going on at kids allowed we've got new dates for millie's trust delivering pediatric first aid for our parents we've got ski school forest school uh, tennis school so please we send you out um, a newsletter every friday via email with the dates for your diary section and just to keep up to date with all the opportunities that we're offering you please make sure that you have a read of the newsletter And finally, uh, can we have a car seat amnesty please? I know this might sound a strange one, but many times parents will arrive without the car seat and we'll happily lend you one of ours. Um, the trouble is we're not getting them back and we really are running short now and having to buy more. So if you have one of ours back at your home, we know you've not kept it on purpose, but if you can just try and remember to bring it back, that'd be absolutely fantastic.